gonna play that. <laughs> Hi guys, we're doing nails today. Fingernails and such and toenails and those crazy nails right there. Which makes me ask the question, how does she wipe her butt? Just, I don't know. Just, how does she wipe her butt? I don't know. Okay. What are nails? Nails are scale-like modifications that form a clear protective layer on the dorsal surface of the distal part of a finger or toe. Okay, that's a fancy definition. You know what a fingernail and a toenail is. Come on. Okay, so all that fancy stuff. Clear protective layer. Yes, it's see-through. Dorsal surface. It's on the top, not the bottom. Distal portion. It's there, not there. All right, so you know what a fingernail is. Look at those. Those are crazy. All right, let's take a look at the parts of a fingernail. The first part we have is called the free edge. This is the part you trim, the part you cut. So some of us have big free edges, some of us don't. Second part of the fingernail is called the body. That's the pink part. So that would be all of this that we can see right here. Actually, I should have gone over like that. So this, all this stuff right here, that is the body of the fingernail. Now, it's pink because there's blood vessels underneath. And we're kind of, that's a window into our finger. And so by looking inside, we can see the capillaries and such and the color that they produce. The, your fingernail has a couple of neat parts to it. The first one is called the lunula, and which kind of sounds like the word luna, which means moon. So on your finger, this little piece right here, right there called the half moon or the lunula. It's a white semicircle on the nail and it is surrounded by nail folds. Nail folds are just different portions of the skin around your fingernail. First one being the eponychium. Anytime you see the word N-Y-C-H, that means nail. So epo kind of sounds like epi, eponychium. So the eponychium are the proximal nail fold. Okay, what does proximal mean? closer to the body. So we would also call this your cuticle. Okay, that's an E, I promise. So right here, this little chunk of skin, the cuticle is your eponychium. That's fun to say. Okay, hypo, under, nick, nail. Whoops, that's a Y. Hyponychium, under the nail. So that's under the free edge right here where the two, where your finger and your nail kind of come together. Basically, that's where all the dirt goes. Uh, we also call that the quick, because if you cut the nail down too far, you'll actually get into the skin and make it bleed. So that is called the under the nail, or the hyponychium. So we have eponychium on this side, and hyponychium on that side. Okay, that's, so there's part of it. Gotta go to another page to get all the rest of the stuff. Okay, let's look at where to go. Okay, that was weird. Um, let's look at the rest of it. So the next one, part three, is called the proximal root, and that is under the cuticle. So if I could push the cuticle, the eponychium behind, underneath that would be the proximal root. So it's kind of like right here on that picture. So there's my little half moon. There's the cuticle, or the or eponychium. And so underneath that, directly under that, we call that the proximal root. Okay, the next one is called the nail bed, which is directly under the pink part. So you can see right here in this picture, all of this right here is in the nail bed. So if you have ever accidentally ripped off a fingernail or a toenail, what's, what you see under that, that is the nail bed. So the nail bed is directly under the body. Okay, and then we have the nail matrix. The matrix is the growing edge, which is under the skin. So you can see right here, nail matrix is right, come on, pin work. 
is right there. And that's what actually makes your fingernail. So this is actively uh, doing mitosis. And so it's producing new cells that constantly are being pushed out in that direction. Okay, so that's the nail matrix. You can't see it here. It's probably right about there. You can actually kind of push and feel. If you push right here, you can kind of feel where it stops. Kind of. It's a little difficult. Okay. And all the same features on your fingernail are also on your toenail. And then here are some pictures of problems with your uh, fingers and toenails. There's lots of different names for them, um, like this one right here. This one, I actually, I kind of like it. It's like I can stick your fingernail under there and pick it. That one's a little too far because here, as you can see, there's a hyponychium right there. So this fingernail should be all the way up to at least there. So he's losing the top layer. So if you look at fingernails in cross section, it's very much a layer. And those extra layers are what give it strength. So sometimes you can actually get in between and peel one of those layers off. Now this one right here, I don't know what's going on there. It's almost like they're growing a whole new nail. Because instead of peeling on this end, it's peeling on this end and they're getting a brand new nail underneath. So they probably had damage of some sort, maybe dropped something on their, I don't know if that's a toe or a thumb. Uh, I think it's a thumb. So they probably dropped something and then destroyed the nail bed. And then as it fixed itself and started growing this way, this is probably the damaged area as it's leaving and getting replaced by fresh new nail. Another thing is these ridges. A lot of people have real thick ridges on their nails and that's actually could be a sign of uh, different disorders and so doctors will take a look at your fingernails and that'll help them uh, see if you have maybe a calcium imbalance or you know something else this is just nasty I don't even uh, I uh, it's just so gross I had to put it in there because I mean what the heck how do you do that how do you let your toes get like that look at that now my husband's toes you they're like this where they kind of do a little half circle like that so I'm afraid when he's older it's gonna end up like that that's gross Okay, so not a whole lot to do to nails. Very simple. So let me go back to that first one, not that one, that one, because I like I like this picture. It has pretty much everything you need. Um, maybe some different names like cuticle slash eponychium, um, free edge. Okay, they have that one labeled. Nail grooves is just as your fingernail grows out, it leaves a dent in your skin. Um, girls, you'll see that whenever you accidentally your nail. You break a nail and it's all the way down here you can actually see those little grooves in there on either side the nail plate is just the nail itself nail walls that's just this uh, they call them lateral folds because they're folds on the side so lateral lunula or the little semi moon um, the matrix is the same as the nail bed that's what makes the fingernail um, or the I'm sorry the, the growing portion and let's see what else the mantle don't worry about that and if we look at the other one the other picture kind of has all the rest i like this one because it's cross section so you can see everything so there's the the groove people with shorter fingers uh fingernails they leave a groove this way as well as this way girls usually don't because our nails go beyond uh, the groove so it's got everything you you can see here lateral nail folds proximal nail fold uh, right here, which produces the cuticle or the eponychium, hyponychium, where the dirt goes, nail bed, nail matrix. And you can see that there's some uh, tissue, some dermal tissue right here, and some bone and stuff right there. And then another lovely picture right over there. Okay, not a whole lot for this one. So enjoy very short notes. Bye!